The Dixie Fire is causing evacuations, as we've been pointing out, all across our area, impacting areas to the west of the Dixie Fire. Action News Now reporter Carmela Karcher is now live at the base camp in Chico. So, Carmela, I know you spoke with people in neighboring communities. How are they feeling tonight? Alan, with the fire impacting areas like Butte Meadows, it's making some surrounding communities nervous about what might come. Jumping nearly 157,000 acres in a week, Public Information Officer Antonio Negretti explained, aside from the difficult terrain, the wind is also playing a factor in its quick spread. One of the things that's happening is because of the wind pattern, uh, you have sparks laying, going up in the air, you have a really big ember cast and it's taking the embers two to three miles uh, upwind and landing in areas and catching uh, spot fires. I'm here in Forest Ranch and behind me, that's the Dixie Fire. Now it might seem a little far away, a community less than 25 miles from here was evacuated, making people in this area on edge. It's been uh, definitely stressful. Rick Perot has evacuated numerous times from his homes in the past years. Now he and his neighbors are anxious they might have to again. Driving up 32 to our home here and we see that, that those huge smoke plumes too yesterday. It definitely brings back some, some little heart-wrenching uh, gut reaction to, to what happened before. And with an evacuation order being placed for Butte Meadows, Negretti says it's all tactical. Ultimately they get what is called a, a trigger point. So if everything happens along with this, then we're going to go ahead and we're going to do a mandatory evacuation. But the one thing Perot and Negretti said, pack your things early and be prepared. Even though you're just under an evacuation warning, it's best to get out now. Even though we were ready back in, in the campfire, we looked around the house and went, oh my gosh, this is, this is real and this is on us. And uh, yeah, so be yeah. ready, be prepared as you can be. Negretti told me they will be getting additional firefighters this weekend. Live in Chico, Carmela Karcher, Action News Now, coverage you can count on. Thank you, Carmela. Currently 4,200 fire personnel and 33 helicopters are fighting the Dixie Fire.